Police moved in and were able to disperse that situation pretty quickly. We started walking, thinking that things were over, and then we saw this. Approaching it, you think you're walking up to a, a concert or Burning Man. There are laser beams. You can hear, it sounds like thousands of people screaming and cheering behind this barricade of flames that has been set up here in Wan Chai in the heart of Hong Kong. Uh, what protesters have done, they, they, they took uh, the barricades that we saw them setting up earlier, doused them with some kind of uh, propellant, and in fact, we heard a pretty uh, loud boom a short time ago, which is why we're staying a safer distance away from the fire now. Uh, and, and they have now not only blocked down the street through their numbers, which as you mentioned, you know, maybe a few thousand people, not the hundreds of thousands of largely peaceful protesters. These are the radicals out here now. But now they don't even, they're not even blocking the streets with people, they're doing something that had to require them to call in. We've, I saw at least three fire engines roll in here just within the last 10 minutes, and they're still trying to put this thing out. So what we've seen, let's get out of the way here, please, guys. What we've seen uh, yet again is a new and creative way for these Hong Kong protesters, despite the fact that they're small in number, to keep on creating situations that change the game, that escalate the situation here in Hong Kong. And keep in mind, all of this is happening just about three blocks from the China's People's Liberation Army garrison, where thousands of more soldiers are believed to have arrived just this morning. They're staying behind the walls for now, but scenes like this are gonna be broadcast in mainland China to try to make the case that all of the protesters, not just the ones who are out peaceful, uh, the hundreds of thousands, the larger groups who are probably sitting at home tonight watching these images on TV, but, but China's making the case that all of the protesters are the radical ones who are out here doing things like this. But then you talk to the people out at the, at the demonstrations and they say, this is to prove a point. This is a fight for the future of Hong Kong. It's, it's Hong Kongers fighting for the right to choose their leaders, a right that they don't have. And mainland China has made clear they will never have. They say they have to have it and they're going to do anything to get it. And that's what we're seeing play out here right now. Will Ripley, thank you so much. Listen, we're going to take a quick break, monitor that situation. We'll go back to Will uh, in just a little bit. As you can see, how the situation there in Hong Kong has just deteriorated over the last 45 minutes. We'll be right back.